Hi again. Maybe like me, you are homebound today and uh, have been for a while and are thinking to yourself, what could possibly be worse? And being a fan of musical theater, as I am, I have an answer for you. You could be one of the characters, except not be a character, but it could be your real life, um, that are in Stephen Sondheim's 1966 musical that he wrote strictly for television called Evening Primrose. And uh, basically, it involves a group of people that uh, decided to stay in a department store in Manhattan and lived there, just lived there and never left. And uh, Charles uh, goes in one day, uh, many years after this happened, in fact, uh, 13 years after, and meets Ella, who is now 19, who has lived in this store since she was six and separated from her mother. And uh, they haven't seen sky or trees or weather for a long time. And I think those of us that are quarantined at home um, have it lucky that we can still go outside and breathe fresh air. This is not floating around in the air somewhere. We can still go outside and see nature and commune with it in a way that is meaningful, perhaps if, if it is for you, it certainly is for me. And um, so it made me think how lucky we are that we still have that. Unlike Ella, who sings this song to Charles in the 1966 Stephen Sondheim musical, Evening Primrose. I remember sky It was blue as ink Or at least I think I remember sky I remember snow Soft as feathers, sharp as thumbtacks, coming down like lint. And it made you squint when the wind would blow. And ice like vinyl on the streets cold as silver white as sheets rain like strings and changing things like leaves I remember leaves green as spearmint crisp as paper I remember trees Bare as coat racks Spread like broken umbrellas And parks and bridges Ponds and zoos Ruddy faces, muddy shoes Light and noise and bees and boys and days. I remember days, or at least I try. But as years go. sort of haze and the bluest ink isn't really sky and 
at times, I think I would gladly.